What's going on, PewDiePie? I know that you're watching this video, so I just wanted to say hi to you and you only. Now, Pewds, you probably haven't heard of Tower Defense Simulator on Roblox, but I know that you've heard of Roblox because I watched the video you made playing Squid Game. So just think of TDS as Squid Game, but without squids or games or winning money or dying. Actually, it's nothing like Squid Game. Oh wait, I know! Squid Game is scary, and Tower Defense Simulator has a very scary update coming out for Halloween! There we go, I knew I could make this intro make sense. Once again, people, this video is for PewDiePie only, so it should only have one view since there's only one PewDiePie. If you're still watching this video, you need to prove to me in a comment down below that you're PewDiePie, or else I'll be calling the PewDie police on you for breaking the PewDie law. Okay, this is getting out of hand. And let's just start over with the best intro on the internet. What's up, cat gang? Harrison here with one cat, and I know you're wondering when the TDS Halloween update is gonna drop. And while I don't have any official news from the game devs, what I do have is experience with TDS updates and when they typically release. And this time, I even have a comment from one of the game developers that I think could hint at when the game is actually gonna update. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and grab a spooky cat and enjoy the show. The first thing you have to understand when you talk about the Halloween 2021 update release date is the fact that this game has a long history of delay, delay, delay. So let's quickly go over that so you can understand the reasons behind why this update might be delayed. You can see here on the events page from the official TDS wiki all of the events that the game has put on so far. Now I only started playing when the spring 2020 event release so I could only talk about the game from that point forward. Out of all four events listed here, the Spring 2020 and Metaverse events were the only ones that weren't delayed. This was probably due to the fact that these two events were part of a larger Roblox-wide event that many other games were also participating in. But the Halloween 2020 and Frost Evasion events were not Roblox events, they were only TDS events, and they were delayed. One thing I want you guys to note here is that the events listed on this page are not every update that TDS has had. These are just the big events that have had a special limited time map, and they gave out event towers to people that beat that map, except for the Metaverse event. That didn't have a tower. I also want to point out the fact that TDS has done many notable updates that have introduced new maps and new towers, like the Nuclear Update and the Smaller Bigger Update, and as far as I know, those weren't delayed. In fact, the Nuclear Update on April 20. 9th, 2020, and the smaller, bigger update on May 26, 2020 really impressed me because the nuclear update added my favorite map in the game, Polluted Wasteland, and the smaller, bigger update added one of my favorite towers to use, The Pursuit. So in the beginning of my time playing TDS, everything seemed to be going smoothly, and as far as I knew, the updates were releasing on time. But unfortunately, TDS was moments from disaster because the first hints of delay began to appear shortly after the small smaller, bigger update. I was actually the first person to reveal that an easter egg on the hardcore door of the old TDS lobby had been changed from teasing the hardcore update as releasing on July 5th, 2020, to teasing that it would release sometime in July. So that was the first delay. As we now know, that update wouldn't end up being scheduled for release until August 21st, 2020, and as fate would have it, the night before that was supposed to go live, it it got another delay to August 28th, 2020. And even when it finally launched on August 28th, it had so many bugs in it that the TDS devs decided to leave it in beta until it was fully released two months later on October 29th. And this brings us up to the release of the Halloween 2020 update on October 31st at 11.59 p.m.? No, I'm not exaggerating that. I went to bed on Halloween thinking there was no way the update would release before November 1st, but when I woke up the next morning, the first thing I saw was that it had, in fact, released one minute before Halloween ended. So that's how close last year's Halloween update came to not even releasing until after Halloween had ended. Now, I don't want to get too far away from this time period, but I do want to make sure that you guys know the next event TDS had, which was the Frost Invasion event, was originally scheduled to be released on December 31st, but when that date came and went with no update, Below Natural sent a message in the 
TDS Discord letting us know that it would be delayed indefinitely. So now I'm going to answer the question, why were the last two major updates delayed and is it going to happen again? Well, one of the biggest problems with the Frost update that caused it to be pushed back by five months was the fact that it originally relied on the brand new matchmaking system that we're actually getting with this update. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, then click on the link in the top right hand corner of your screen because the devs are now introducing a completely new way to get into a game. And back when they were preparing to release that Frost update, the problem was that this matchmaking system still wasn't functioning correctly. In the end, the devs ended up having to drop it because it was taking too long to finish, which meant they had to build an entirely new lobby with elevators in it, since originally there were no elevators in the Frost event lobby. And that's what ended up delaying the winter event for so long. But what delayed last year's Halloween event update? I think the biggest thing that pushed it back was the fact that the Halloween update was built to be part of the new and improved TDS with the hardcore update. This update changed almost everything about the game. It had a new lobby and a new gameplay system. And so the Halloween update just could not be released until the hardcore update was fully released. And since that didn't happen until October 29th, the Halloween update could not be released until the very last minute on October 31st. And this brings me to the big question of this video. Is the Halloween 2021 update gonna get delayed? Drum roll, please. My answer to this question is no. I do not think it's going to be delayed and for two big reasons. One, this time the devs don't have to do some big update that changes the entire game like the hardcore update. And two, TDS developer Razu Addicts has already said that he would not be releasing any event leaks until he was sure the update was ready to go. And what did we start getting a little over a week ago? That's right. He started releasing the first teaser images for this event. And that is the main evidence that makes me think this update is going to get released on time. So now the question is, since the devs have signaled that they're ready to release this update, are we going to get it on Halloween or before? I hope that they actually release it this coming Friday, October 29th. This would give us all weekend to play before you guys have to go back to school on Monday. And in the past, the Frost update was released at like 2 a.m. on a Saturday morning. And as I already said, last year's Halloween update was released at 11.59 p.m. on a Saturday night, which was just a couple of days after the hardcore update fully released on a Thursday night. So all of this might be a coincidence, but it seems to me that the devs try to release their major content updates at the beginning of a weekend. People can play all weekend long. And that's why I'm going to guess that we're going to be getting the update on this Friday. Now I do have to admit this could be wishful thinking on my part and I could be completely wrong because when I was doing some research for a different video, I came across something Raz said that sounded an awful lot like he was planning for this update update to actually release on Halloween. That news comes from a leak he posted on October 11th in the TDS Discord where he says you'll be able to see what towers the other people you match with have when this gets launched on Halloween. He doesn't say with the Halloween update, which is what I would expect him to say here if that's what he meant, but he very clearly says on Halloween. To me, that sounds like an unintentional admission that this content along with all of the Halloween content is going to be released on on Halloween. So if that's true, I think they're going to release it at 12 a.m. midnight on October 31st. This would effectively be Saturday night and it would give us all day Sunday to play before you guys have to go back to school on Monday. I'd be okay with that as long as it doesn't release at like 11.59 on October 31st again because that would be Sunday night. So let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comments below. Do you think I'm right about the update releasing on this Friday the 29th or do you think Raz said what he meant and it'll release on Halloween. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button with your forehead, hit the subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. <laughs>